The Steel Bridge team at Michigan Technological University has designed a bridge for the Katy Trail State Park. This bridge will satisfy stability, strength, and serviceability requirements under the anticipated lateral and vertical loads and look aesthetically pleasing. In this video, our team will share the process used in design analysis and construction, the aesthetic considerations of the bridge, and some of the many innovative features that enrich the project. After weighing in the advantages and disadvantages of our project, we are confident that the proposed bridge design by the Steel Bridge team at Michigan Tech will be a great option to implement at the Katy Trail State Park. The design process for the Steel Bridge team at Michigan Tech started with the team members learning and understanding all constraints to successfully design a bridge for the Katy Trail State Park. The team utilized REM elements, SolidWorks, and AutoCAD to design the bridge. The bridge geometry, compliance with the design constraints, and load capacity were determined using RAM elements. Dozens of designs were created, then the top designs were analyzed by the entire team to decide on the, on the best bridge. Many iterations were made by adjusting the section sizes, the wall thickness of the member, and modifying pieces. These iterations focused on making the bridge easy to fabricate and construct. Furthermore, the deflection and weight largely influenced the decision between the final designs. The team considered an arched type bridge to be one of the most aesthetically pleasing styles. A modest, natural look to the bridge would complement the location, while not taking away from the trail's natural beauty. To enhance the aesthetics, the team would lightly sand and clear coat the bridge to prevent rust. Designing a bridge that can be delivered and assembled on site is essential. The design features of this bridge makes assembly an easy and efficient task. The team considered connection and member size and orientation for quick construction. Connection design has been one of the most innovative features of this bridge design. Dovetails and slotted T connections were used to speed up the construction process so the team did not have to use bolts to hold the bridge together. The connections go together similarly to Legos. No load bearing bolts are needed. The connections were coped in order to sit on a round section. This was especially important for the stability and strength of the connection to the piece. Furthermore, this would help the team weld the connection to the round tube to make fabrication easier. The structural analysis of the bridge was completed using RAM elements, which is a finite element analysis program. The team began the analysis by adding restraints to the footings of the completed bridge design. Next, the team applied the vertical and lateral loads in the proper locations as outlined in the SSBC rules. The team used both LRFD and ASD to ensure the bridge will not fail on either design type. The team also included second order load effects in the analysis. With the bridge fully designed and analyzed, the team analyzed the deflections and stability effects on the bridge under each load condition. The team used RAM status feature and stress ratio feature. The status feature displayed whether or not individual components of the bridge would fail under the given load. Stress ratios also helped ensure members were adequate. The team set a limit of 90% on the member's capacity to ensure members weren't too close to failure. Deflection and stability were analyzed primarily utilizing the nodal displacement and deformed shape features. These features helped the team determine vertical and lateral deflections at each individual node, as well as visually identify how the bridge was deforming under each load. Using rim elements in the analysis of the bridge significantly sped up the process and gave an accurate image of what the bridge is capable of. One of the most innovative features that was in the book for analysis was t delta the analysis of second order effects. By enabling RAM to analyze the second order effects in the bridge, the team was able to better estimate lateral deformations, as well as account for additional internal force and moment demands that result from these deformations. Doing so provided the team with a safer and more stable bridge design, one that is better designed to avoid a buckling failure, like the one that occurred with a previous bridge design that neglected these effects. These effects are incredibly challenging to calculate by hand, so using the software enabled this feature was a huge advantage in providing improved safety for the bridge. Six builders will be utilized to construct the bridge. There will be two runners to navigate the transportation zone, and there will be two builders on each side of the river. The long side builders start with a footing, and the footings are connected by a cross member on each side. After the two footings on each side are connected, the team starts connecting the trusses. Trusses are started at the footings on both sides and work towards the middle. The trusses are lifted up to assemble easily on each side of the river, then the bridge is lowered to connect the last truss directly over the river. Cross bracing is added between gaps in the trusses. 
The bridge is freestanding once the trusses are connected, which allows builders on the sides of the transportation zone to run pieces for themselves. The primary builders will start with all the hangers that support the arch, working from the ends closer to the footings and meeting in the middle. Then, the runners will start putting in the nuts and bolts for each connection. Next, the arch is added to the top of the hangers, with top members going in first and meeting in the middle. The last remaining pieces are the lateral supports for the arch and trusses. Once all of the members are on the bridge, all of the builders will finish off with the nuts and bolts to fasten tabs on the connections. The builders will then run back to their respected areas and the captain will call stop time. One of the main innovation construction methods developed was a building the bridge so that it is freestanding as soon as possible. This is accomplished by constructing truss members to support themselves once connected. Then the team has their hands free to put pieces together whilst without supporting the bridge. More people can run and get pieces to speed up the construction process with this method. The Steel Bridge team at Michigan Technological University has designed a bridge for the Katy Trail State Park that will satisfy all requirements at an affordable cost. There are several advantages which lower the cost of the bridge, all while ensuring that people feel safe when crossing the bridge. The natural aesthetic of the bridge will fit in well with the style of other bridges in the area. Thank you for your time and consideration of the Steel Bridge team at Michigan Technological University proposed bridge design for the Katy Trail State Park.